everyone, it's Irene and I'm here to share my um, my junk journal that I've made for a swap that I'm a uh, part of on Facebook group, the Junk Journal Junkies. And this particular uh, theme was Jingle in July, hosted by Lori Jagajish and she's Lori, just a girl from the Bay. Hi Lori, how you doing? Um, I want to tell you a little story. I started this beautiful journal, this size right here, which is 6 by 9 and I was just loving the progress. I did a little bit every day as my time is limited sometimes because I take care of my mom. And so I was just, you know, coffee dyeing things and putting things in and creating the little pockets and tags and tuck spots and I thought I was doing pretty darn good. And I was watching a video and the person had a much bigger junk journal that they were showing and I'm like, oh my gosh, uh, is anyone gonna tell her that her journal is too big. So I I I actually was like trying to find my notes to find out, you know, and maybe I can help her along the way and let her know, no, you got it all wrong. I, I, well, guess what guys, I was the one who was wrong. It was not supposed to be six by nine. It was supposed to be nine by 12, which is a huge difference and I'll show you. This is what I thought I was gonna be turning in and this is what it's supposed to be. You see the difference in size? So the mad dash started to create this big one right here. And let me just show you the pad of paper I chose to I uh, use. I just love it. It's Christmas on uh, um, Amsbury Street and it's by Paper Studio. And you can find it right now at Hobby Lobby. But I believe they had this last year too because I have some envelopes and paper, loose paper that came from this pad last year. So it's just a beautiful pad of paper, super pretty, old fashioned, beautiful colors and theme and textures and designs to play with. So it's a very fun, festive pad of paper. And I made several of them. I'm starting on a new one right here because I also make them for gifts for family and friends. So let's dive in to this big one right here. And I, I like to cover mine in fabric and I use heat and bond, the light version, and that's usually what I do to the envelope as I cover it all up. I did do a little dangle charm here with some bells. I did sew my one signature in, and my closure right now is this, and I might just add some charms on it. I'm not quite sure how it's gonna go. Um, I just like to do some more things to this book before the person who gets it as a little surprise. So let's just dive right in, shall we? So here's the paper here, and uh, I made some tuck spots using some journaling cards. I also put some of this extra fabric that I had uh, put on Heat and Bond, and what I did was I ironed it on um, book paper, binder paper, so the journaling spot that way. And here's just another one, and put in some fibers. And I also put some eyelets there. I stamped out this story begins and then a tuck spot here with a shipping tag and some lines on the back love doing that so pretty with the fibers I have a paper clip here with a dangle charm and then I have a little sweetie sack that I put in here but I also attached a little journaling tag right here and then in the sweetie sack I have some tags let me just put this down right here bring this girl over closer maybe she can help me hold the book. Um, I got some journaling tags. That's what they look like. And my pull tabs are just extra pieces of the fabric. And I added right here this little note, journaling note, because the background was just a candy. So there's some lines there, and the lines on this one already came that way. So that was a lot of fun to incorporate into the top of this goodie sack. And right here is on the side that you can pull out and some more extra journaling tags. So there's a lot of places to journal, to add uh, pictures maybe, or what, whatever the person would like to do. Here's another shipping tag with a little dangled charm. It's easy, a journaling spot right here. And let me just move this paper out of the way. Get this girl to help me, haha. <laughs> there you go, that's easier to show. And then I attached a little journaling spot here. And this came from the dollar spot last year at Christmas time. Uh, after Christmas, actually, they were getting rid of them. So I just took as many as I could find because I think they can be multi-purpose used in 
journaling or anything really. And then I coffee dye these doilies, make a little tuck spot like that. And then there's the other pad that I, I got from the dollar spot at Michael's last year. A tag with a little charm. And here I used an envelope. And the envelope is like a flip out. And then inside the envelope is this card that came with it. And this was also last year's find. And inside it I put in more journaling line pads that I just attached and then on the back I made a little pocket and a simple little tag that the person can either journal on, attach a, a receipt, a, a picture, whatever they wish and it goes right back in there like that and then here is another journaling, journaling tech card but I also made it into a little um, tech spot and I have this coffee dyed index that I made into a little booklet and it smells really good because I added allspice and cinnamon to my coffee and so the paper doesn't smell too harshly of coffee. And then here's a, the front of the envelope. I put a journaling tag and then made it into a pocket and then this journaling tag um, made it to that. So there's the flap of the envelope that I um, use my Martha Stewart punch on. Here's the top of that pad that I comes from this pad right here. Made a little thing from binder paper and fabric. And then left it blank here for them to put in a picture or whatever they wish to put in. Here's a, um, a card here as a pocket, a little shipping tag with a charm and some lines. I fussy cut this out of the paper and put that on top. And then here I use again a piece of fabric as a pull tab to my card. Um, drawing spot here from that paper pad and then a doily as a tuck spot. Here again is an, a huge envelope. I open it up, put it in with washi tape. He's a, a notepad paper here. And inside this envelope are some extra journaling spots that the person can write on, add pictures. Just a, a lot of uh, places and tech spots to put in whatever they wish. And here is a card that I made into a pocket and I added one of those binder paper tuck, uh, drawing spots. And then this I made like that. It's super pretty on the outside. Folded it in half and put in one of my coffee dyed index cards. And that was really fun to do. So there's a lot of places to do that. And then again, a journaling tag, I mean a, a Project Life card here and it's a pocket and then I added extra with my coffee dyed index cards to go inside. Super fun and pretty and it goes with the theme and the colors. So that will go in there. And then here's a flap of the envelope. I decorated, I used my mattress root punch, some extra cards. On one of them I added one of my fabric pieces. Really pretty there. And then here, same thing. And here's my middle of my signature. It shows that I sewed it in. There it goes. And then I have some extra journaling tags inside this Project Life card. Here's one of those envelopes again, one of those cards, a tuck spot underneath here. Here's a card I did here and I just put my coffee dyed index card but I also made it into a pocket so the person can pull this out, journal, and pocket on the back. Okay. And here's just a little flap that I made as a tuck spot. Added one of those journaling pages here. Here's a shipping tag and some more ta uh, shipping tags and journaling cards. This I made into a waterfall using those extra cards. And I put extra pretty paper here. They can either put pictures here or journal, whichever they wish. Isn't that pretty? And here's just another tag. More places to write and put pictures. So there's a lot of room to do a lot of things. Here I did a little music note miniature booklet. I sewed it in and it's just music from Christmas time. Really pretty. It's the miniature version of a song book. And it's just a little memorabilia thing. Here's another waterfall effect I did with uh, Project Life cards 
and they can use it for pictures or journaling. And then journal spot here. Another sweetie bag with more tags. And then here's the end. One of those envelopes, another card, a place for them to do whatever they wish. And then here's a shipping tag with a pocket and then I stamped out this book belongs to. And then in here I'll put some extras. And one of the things I added was what I want for Christmas and it's a really funny a sheet to fill out so that's gonna be a lot of fun but I will be putting more in here as a surprise to the person who receives it and then there's my flap right here and that's the back so I hope you enjoyed the opening of my jingle journal for my swap on Facebook group the junk journal junkies and Lori thank you so much for hosting such a fun fun a uh, swap I can't wait to see who I'm partnered up with and I can't wait to see who receives this one and goes to its new home. Very fun to play with and fill up with memories. Thanks everyone for stopping by. Hope everyone's having a great day. Take good care. Bye-bye.